In this video, I will be showing you guys my super zombie speed build for the Nemesis. In this build, we basically have the zombie add-ons where the zombies get 35% more speed, plus they also get a wider FO view and a larger view distance. So in this video, it's going to be pretty helpful for me, and you're going to see how helpful they can actually be. Yeah, what is she doing over here? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not sure what she was doing over there, but we're going to hunt her down real quick. And she's, she's moving. She's definitely moving, but... Hello there. Took a wrong turn there, and we're just going to keep going after her. And look at the zombies already hurting her the right way. You, you, if you look at that, once you add a little bit more speed to the zombies, they do block off some avenues of approach. And they, the zombie made that super easy. On this map, the zombies are a little bit easier to actually go around. But on maps like the school, for example, the zombies really do block off avenues of approach. And I've seen zombies even get killed. The zombies can be helpful once you add more speed and more FOV to them as well. So here, yep, she did a good job vaulting. We're going to go around. And I see her over here. Bruh. She's doing a pretty good job dodging right there. Good on her. And uh Bruh. <laughs> here for some reason I thought I was tier two, but I wasn't. No 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 no. Bruh. Again, I'm not tier two. That's okay, I'll let her blind me. I'm just gonna take this pallet down. And I'm just gonna keep moving. Get over here! So she did a good she's doing a pretty good job over here. Now I am tier um yeah, now I am tier two off that last hit, so watch this. I think she realized it too, so she's just gonna run off. And she did a good job, but mainly what I wanted to do is I wanted to go to tier 2, because once you go to tier 2 Nemesis, you are a beast. You can break pallets a lot easier, so when survivors are using the pallets, it's gonna be pretty useless for them, and it's gonna be pretty advantageous to you, because they're gonna slow down and try to use the pallet, thinking that they're all successful, and what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna destroy them. Alright, so looking around, I don't see anyone. Hello there! Oh, and there she is, so she's coming to me, that's great. <laughs> Got a nice hit in, and we're just gonna keep going after her. No! God, please, no! Finish her off. I do see her friend over there, but I do want to hook her. And she's a little late on that flashlight. But that's okay, she's coming to me. What more can a guy ask for? Got <laughs> it! And let's put her back down. And so I think... Yeah, she was trying to hide out of my FOV, so she's trying to hide behind me, actually. And... For new killers, survivors can get away with that, but for me, it's not going to work. If you guys haven't seen that before, the survivor will basically just try to hide right behind your back. And if you don't, you never turn around, then all they can do is basically just walk away. Okay, so she got saved pretty quickly there. And let's just see who's in the vicinity. There goes her friend over here. And we'll do a little ring around the rosy with her. She, I think, knows for some reason. They may be on comms because she knows not to drop that pallet. Bruh. Once Nemesis is on tier 2... Uh, for a survivor, a pro tip is to not drop the pallets anymore. Just run at that point. Because when you drop the pallet, you're basically wasting time. And the nemesis can you know, quite literally just break the pallet right in front of your face. And get a hit off on you as well. So, so she did a good job. I, I see her around the corner though. Where'd she go? No, 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 no. I see her friend over here. So that's good. And we get the nice hit in, so we're going to be ending her here real quick. I think this is her second hook, so we're getting some good progress. They only finished one gen, so I can definitely see that I'm holding them up. And whenever you have these groups of survivors, right? I think these guys are on comms because she's trying to lead me away. And she's trying to get the save. So, like, these guys are definitely on comms for sure. And whenever you see a group of survivors like this where they're on comms, they're working together, right? That's actually a double-edged sword because what, what they'll do is they'll overcommit to saving people. And not only are they going to overcommit to saving people... But they're basically not going to do gens as quickly because they're going to try to stick together. Sometimes for survivors, the best thing is to actually split apart and have one guy on one map, right, luring the killer away while the other survivors do gens on the other side of the map. So there the zombie came in really clutch. You see how the zombie blocked off that approach? She was going to try to do ring around the rosy, but with the zombie in there, she can't. And that's how useful those fast zombies are, right? The zombie has 35% more speed and can really just get in the way of these survivors. So she's doing a pretty good job. And we're just gonna keep going. She's not really gonna get far here. Let's do what she does. So again, th they were talking, and they basically see that I break pallets once I Bruh. break that first pallet. That uh, the first survivor probably told everyone else about it, and that's good teamwork by them. But again, it's gonna backfire. That was a little bit of a shank by me, but that's okay. <laughs> and we're just gonna hunt her down. So she's running. Bruh. Good vault on her. There she is. Let me go back around. Yeah, maybe I'm overthinking a little bit here. There she is, okay. 
So she's doing, she's just, she's just doing a good job. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So we're in a good position here. Let's see if we can finish her off. She's a pretty strong survivor as well, so getting her off the field is going to be pretty good. Dude. Bruh. And I'm surprised I didn't get her, but that's okay. Yep, so she's going to try to do a little ring around the rosy here. She should have went through that window, but she didn't. That's okay. Bruh. And uh, a little bit of a miss there, but that's okay. And we're just going to keep going. She's doing a good job of dodging and uh, evading, so that's pretty good on her. Now with the survivor again, wasting time is crucial, right? So she's trying to waste a lot of time here. Hello there. She did lead me to her friend, so that was a little bit of a mistake. She was just trying to survive, but that was a mistake. Again, like, when you are trying to waste time with the killer, you never want to go to your friends. Even though you want support, it's just a bad idea because then the killer can just switch off of you. So that was a bad move to lead me to her friend, but hey, that's just how things go. And I'm just going to get a good bridge eye view, see if she's in the area. There she is, okay. And, uh, sorry, I was just looking back. Oh, she got... Okay, did she get killed by the zombies? <laughs> no, 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 no. I haven't seen that in a long time. She got killed by the zombies. <laughs> wow, good job, zombies. That was great day work by the zombies. Might as well just, uh, you know, sit on the couch and relax. The zombies got me covered. That's the power of the speed by zombies, right? Is that sometimes the survivors are just so scared... That they don't really realize them, right? They're just trying to get away. They don't really realize where the zombies are. And that speed helps them just get a little bit closer and contaminate the survivors. Typically, I don't really see kills often. I do see them very sparingly. But typically, I don't see zombies get kills like we did in this case. No! God, please, no! But she's a quitter over here. She just kind of gave up. And I'm just looking around. I do want to see where uh, these last two survivors are. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hello there. Oh, yep, there she is. Okay. <laughs> So this, this group has definitely done a good job of hiding, which is good. If you can hide from a killer, that's always a good thing, right? Get the killer to just walk off on you. Why are you running? Why are you running? All right, so let's see. Everyone has been trying to use the same house for cover. So it's pretty funny, but we're used to it now. Yep, so let's see. Let's see what her Bruh. tendency are. I think she may try to go back through the window. No, she went out the other door. Okay. I thought she was trying to go through the Okay, she made a little mistake here, though. That's okay. That's good for me. So that was a mistake. <laughs> no, Once no, the killer no, has uh, no. basically close enough distance, that's basically a huge mistake for the survivor because if a killer is close enough, then you won't have time to vault the window. And again, they've only had three gens and there's only one active survivor. So this is very much so in my favor. I'm just going to stomp on their hopes and dreams. <laughs> So this is very much so in my favor right now, right? They have three gens left. Yep, there she is. Okay, she's trying to do a save here. Which was a bad move. Oh. Bruh. Okay, good for her. I thought she'd run off just because all the other survivors... Once they saw I had my pallet breaking ability, they just run off, but she didn't. That's okay. And again, everyone tries to use the same house. It's not really going to work out for them. A zombie almost got the contain in. Hey, but that's pretty good. Not close enough. Again, complete waste of time dropping the pallet. She's pretty good at being elusive, but again, if you look at that, right, she lost a lot of ground by stopping and doing that pallet because my animation to break it is a lot faster than her dropping the pallet. So we're going to keep going. She's trying to do a little ring around the rosy. That's okay. Not really going to work out for her. Let's see if we get that final hit in. Nice. One more hit and that'll be game. Alright. She's doing a good job being elusive. She's only prolonging the struggle though. Because she's not really getting out of this one. Oh. I thought she went in the... Uh, the locker there but she didn't and this is gonna be game bruh oh i shanked that one but that's okay oh did she go in the locker ah! yep <laughs> Got what a mistake so when you're the last Got survivor it. active you should really not be using lockers and chases because you know as much as you do want to stun the killer you're the last person there so the killer can wait outside the locker the whole time right so that was a mistake by her and this is gonna be game right here
So that was me using the Nemesis Zombie Super Speed Build. Extremely effective, especially if survivors are not paying attention. So for more Dead by Daylight gameplays, funny moments, and new killer updates, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.